Hey everyone, it's me Vivian and I'm back with another video, this time on a beginner's guide to learning SQL. Now whether or not you're a data analyst or data scientist, preparing for a technical interview or working in any other industry and just wanting to learn SQL for fun, then this video is the one for you. As I've mentioned in many of my previous videos, SQL is a super important part of any data related role, as we do most of our data wrangling, data analysis, data preparation in SQL. And not to mention, the first step of any technical interview for a data role is generally going to be in SQL. It is honestly the one thing that I would recommend everyone learn, regardless of what profession you work in, whether it's consulting, marketing, or even product development, as data is literally everywhere these days and has become a core part of most established organizations. Back in the day, data was stored in paper files within physical filing cabinets. But due to technological advancements, data is now stored in tables within databases, collectively known as a data warehouse. As an example, Netflix might track your user profile and your age and location in combination with the TV shows and movies that you are watching, and in turn save this within tables inside the data warehouse. They would then use this data in order to make better decisions on what TV shows to recommend you next. SQL is a relatively easy language to learn and is a key part of any data related role. You could be a marketing analyst or a data engineer or a product data scientist. And the one thing you have in common is that you're going to be working with lots of data using SQL. Now SQL stands for Structured Query Language. Some people call it SQL, others call it SQL. And in simple terms, it's just a tool for us to view the data, join some tables together, create some new variables and output your final data set. The input and output of SQL is always going to be a table with every row as a new observation. Keep in mind that there are many different SQL database programs or systems, which is essentially just a different user interface for us to view the data with, each with a slightly different syntax. Now you might hear ones such as you know Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, I'll put some more up on the screen here, but um, just in simple terms, think of it as your Android phone versus your iOS phone, each operating on a slightly different operating system, but the keywords and the basic format still remain the same. To me, SQL is essential for a successful career in any data related role. You'd be surprised to know how many data scientists out there actually don't know SQL and have to hustle right before the interview or even learn it on the job itself. It's almost concerning that SQL isn't more widely taught during uni, or at least it wasn't my experience during my maths degree. When I started my first ever internship, I found myself really lost and having to learn SQL on the job and after work hours too. Luckily, SQL is relatively easy to pick up. If I can do it, so can you. Let's jump into some of my favorite resources on getting started with SQL. So the first resource I'm going to share today is W3Schools. Now this was the website that my manager in my first ever internship suggested that I learn SQL from. It is completely free, there is no need for you to create an account, so no procrastination here, you can get straight into it. Um, this website has an entire section dedicated to SQL with individual tabs for the different keywords and how to use them. There is even a small play around section on the site where you can test out your own code and run it in the browser to test through your own thought process. There are also additional exercises available for practice, which I find extremely useful. So W3Schools is my go-to website and what I would recommend every beginner get started with first. So my second resource is mode.com. Now this one is really similar to W3Schools, except it's broken up into your basic, intermediate and advanced level SQL. Again, there is one page for each concept with a short description of how to use it in practice. I really like the site as each of the beginner, intermediate and advanced level courses are split into 20 individual concepts. So if you're like me and like to tick things off, this could be the website for you. Remember that going through one concept per day means that you can become a SQL expert within two months. Okay, so now that we've learned the basic skills, it's time to practice as practice makes perfect. One of the websites that I've seen people use to practice SQL on is HackerRank. So this website is full of practice problems split by your beginner, intermediate and advanced level SQL. 
keep in mind that for this, you have to make an account so you can always come back and continue tracking your progress. So the last suggestion that I have for you guys is lead code which is something you might be familiar with if you have software engineering friends, as this website has hundreds of interview practice problems. Again, they range from easy to difficult, so you can really select the level that you are after. I find Leap Code very representative of an actual interview, so I think it could be really good for your final interview prep or if you wanna just simulate a real life interview experience. Remember that the more practice problems you do, the better you're going to get the less nervous you are, and the easier it is for you to be able to identify patterns and build better instincts on how to tackle a problem. Remember that practice makes perfect. So those were a few of my favorite resources on how to learn the basic concepts of SQL, or even if you're just after a quick refresh. Um, please like and subscribe if this video has helped you out, and make sure to leave a comment below on some of your favorite SQL tips. All the best with your own sequel journey and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!